You gotta say what you're feeling. Hi and welcome. If you don't know who I am, my name is Erica Angelo and I'm the CEO and founder of the Erica Angelo Intimacy Experience. And today we're gonna talk about something that really gets intimacy flowing, which is saying what you feel. Now, let's just cut to the chase. Most of the time for men, this is really difficult. And for some women, this can be a challenge as well. First and foremost, saying what we feel is a gift that we give to ourselves. When we keep feelings trapped in our body, they're lodged in our head, we're thinking about them nonstop, we've got this whole mental masturbation thing going on, and they never get out, what happens? It becomes toxic, we get anxiety. Most of the time we're walking around with anxiety because why? We have all these bottled up emotions, we're constipated. There's all these things going on inside of us because we've got these lodged feelings going on and it creates a dis-ease in our body. Then you bring people involved and you get relationships on the other side of it and then they get frustrated. Why? Because they don't know who the blank you are because you're not sharing that with them. You know, most of us are going through life feeling very alone and not seen and not heard, but we're not saying anything. We're not opening up our mouths and using the voice that we have and sharing those feelings and what's going on inside of us. So we're like, nobody understands what's going on inside of me. Yeah, because you're not telling them, hello. So how do you open up and tell people what you're feeling? First and foremost, we have to know what we're feeling. And that sounds so easy, but sometimes it's really complex. Basically what we're doing is getting an understanding of what am I experiencing right now? And then we convey that through expressing our feelings. You know, I'm feeling very frustrated in my business right now. Things are not going the way I want them to go. And it makes me feel helpless. You know, I feel like you're just not hearing me in this relationship. And it makes me feel like I'm not important to you. Like I'm just some sort of byproduct in your life. And that really hurts me. Do you see, we're conveying to the person what our experience is and how it's making us feel. The people in our lives who love us have to be given this information. And if they're not given this information, then we're disempowering them and we're expecting them to be mind readers. I don't know about you, but I am not a mind reader. So first and foremost, get really clear about what you're experiencing, what's going on inside of you to prepare you to articulate that to the person that you love. The next thing you wanna do is communicate your boundary. Boundaries are really important when you're saying what you're feeling. So it goes something like this. I'm gonna share with you what's going on inside of me. I'm gonna communicate to you what I'm feeling, but what I'm gonna need from you is this. And you have to discover like what's an important boundary for you. For me, it's, hey, I'm gonna communicate how I'm feeling with you. It'd be really important for me if you didn't interrupt me and then you validate me in, in the end. And some of you are like, what's validating? Just saying, wow, I'm really sorry you're feeling that way. So preface it, let them know, hey, I'm gonna open up to you and I'm gonna share with you and you've been wanting this, but what I'm gonna need from you is this. That way you protect yourself and you protect your heart when you're opening up to the other person. And the third thing is this, make it about you. Most of the time for the other person, when we say those words, I'm gonna share what I'm feeling, they get really scared inside and you sense it. You see their body language tightening up and then pulling back. You understand that. So you just say, listen, this is gonna be about me. So it goes something like this. I am feeling blank because of blank and I want blank. I am feeling angry at my job right now because my boss keeps running me over and not hearing me. What I want is when I come home for you to be a little bit more supportive and patient with me by listening to me and letting me vent and giving me some space so that I can collect myself. You see, you're making it about you and your experience. You're not saying, this is all your fault. You should be doing this. You should know this. No, come on. You're the powerful one here. You get to hold your power in. You get to say, listen, 
I'm feeling this, this is my experience, and this is what I need. So know what you're feeling. Communicate your boundary. And then third, make it about you. This isn't about blaming the other person, but this is creating a safe place for you to be heard so that you'll continue to share what you're feeling. Hey guys, if you're wondering like, what is intimacy? What is she talking about? Because I thought it was just about sex and she's talking about boundaries and using my voice and sharing my feelings. I know. So to help you get started, in the description below, there is a free intimacy training guide. It's a video guide. It's gonna get you started. Make sure that you click that link and get you moving, get that good intimacy juice flowing in your life. I'm so glad you joined me and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until next time.